Hello, can you hear me? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, Mike Patton from Three Point Conversion. Uh, just wanted to ask, uh, you know, of course, you know, it wasn't uh, the result that you wanted, but uh, what can you say about your performance from, from uh, Sabrina tonight? Oh, yeah, I mean, she, she had a heck of a game. She did everything she could to uh, get our offense going, and, um, you know, it was the same thing that essentially she, she tried to do in the last game. She saw that we kind of needed a boost offensively. She went out and uh, – and created one. I mean, the, the shots fell tonight. We did a great job getting to the rim. It was an efficient game. Um, we just we just didn't have enough uh, holistically. Jeff Magliocchetti. Hey, Walt. Where do you think your team improved the most from Saturday, and where do you think you guys regressed the most? And something you want to work on. Where do you think you improved and regressed the most? Uh, I think our defense definitely regressed. Um, I didn't think our attention to detail was very good on either end. Um, forgot plays, didn't set screens. Um, I thought that. Uh, as a staff, we learned some things that we need to do better as well. Um, it's not not just about the players; it's it's all of us. Um, adjustments that need to be made, but um, I, I didn't think I, I I thought they were the tougher team. I thought I thought Dallas was the tougher team. I thought they they wanted it more. Um, I think our players will tell you the same thing. Um, but uh, you know, it's again, it's it's uh, these are growth points. This is. A young group, and we're all we're all learning how to put together 40 minutes um, of consistency. And, and as you can see, it's it's uh, it wasn't Rome wasn't built in the day, you know. So um, it's one of these losses that you learn from, and you make sure that you keep perspective though uh, over the long haul. Look at the adjustments that we need to make, and and go into practice tomorrow and, and start addressing them. Jackie Powell. Hey, Walt. Um, I'm curious to know what you thought the difference between the Seattle defense and the Dallas defense was, and what tonight made it very difficult for your team to cut like how they did so freely in game one. I think Dallas did a good job um, kind of getting into our bodies and, and not letting us cut. They just, they, they, uh, they were tougher. I mean, they were, they were the more physical team. Um, on both ends for a good amount of the game. And we had, we had our moments for sure where we fought back and we got physical and good things happened. Um, I think it's just, again, it's, it's these different playing styles and, and uh, different systems offensively and defensively from every team for a lot of our players. It's, it's all new, you know, it's, it's, it, these are all different looks. And uh, that's why I say it's so important for us to focus on doing what we do well. Um, because the turnaround time, I mean, you know, to be able to go in and address all the things we need to address in one practice, is, um, that's a tall order. We're going to try. But um, I think, uh, again, the perspective is really important to take the, the good, look at the things that we did well and celebrate them and, and remember that those were important. That was how we stayed in the game at all. Um, but, but mainly to address the things that we need to address. Michelle Vocal. Coach, I know um, Megan and Jasmine didn't have a lot of time on court, but Jasmine a little bit more. W what were your thoughts of just them getting their feet wet in their, in their first game? Yeah, I mean, I, they, they didn't look quite 100%, either one of them. Um, I thought they both did some good things. Uh, I thought Jazz was, was really assertive, to be honest, that she just looked a step off. Um, and with Megan, it's totally understandable. Uh, and with Jazz too. I mean, she's she's coming off an ankle injury, and um, uh, I don't I didn't see anything you know that that was alarming with either one of them by any means. But uh, I just didn't think that either one of them was really at a at hundred percent, and it, it showed at different points. Sarah Valentine. Valenzuela. Hey again. Um, so. What uh, did you tell, or if you had the chance to speak to, say, Laisha or uh, Stokes or Nurse, what did you, uh, what were some things that you were telling them 
through the game, they kind of uh, fell off a little bit offensively. Yeah, uh, it's we got away from playing how we want to play offensively. We let Dallas dictate what we did. And again, it's, it's a learning experience for us. It's, it's, it's going to be a process and, you know, there's going to be more bumps in the road, but our goal is to minimize uh, the amount of times we have to go over the same bump over and over and over in different games. And, and hopefully we can do a good job as a staff uh, of making adjustments that help them navigate some of the things the teams are doing to take us out of our identity. Um, but I thought that that was, that was the biggest takeaway for me is, is I felt like we couldn't get to our actions a lot of the time. Sometimes it was because we wouldn't be in the right spots or somebody just didn't set a good screen. Oftentimes though, the, the, a good screen wasn't set because Dallas pushed us off our spots. They were more physical. They fought their way through screens. Um, I really just think they were the, the more assertive team. Thank you so much. Thanks. Erica Ayala. Um, Coach, I'd like to build off of Sarah's question, if I may. Um, thinking about um, shot selection um, when running through the offense, I know that you have always wanted to build this team to be a three-point shooting uh, team, but how much uh, of that is a balance between getting up three-pointers and, and you know taking good quality shots to get on the board? Absolutely. Um, we definitely talk about the quality of different three-point shots. Um, uh, I talked to one of the players after their, their first few minutes in that we, I, I thought she jacked up a, a three, a contested three that, you know, it just wasn't the type of shot that we want. It's something you can get at any point in the shot clock. Um, and it's still a, a learning process of, of them getting used to what we want and understanding what the parameters are. Um, and I think that uh, to some extent, that's always going to be trial and error. You know, you can talk about it a lot in practice. You can write it on everything that we have, you know, that's circulated through the team. But um, still, you're just going to need to go through and, and, and mess it up in a game and continue to get that feedback. Um, so it's, it's definitely something we talk about. I didn't think that we got into the paint as much as we would have liked to, even if it's uh, – you know, for a kick out for a three ball. I thought the times that we did, um, we got really good looks and, and those are the types of threes that we want to shoot. But to your point, we don't just want to shoot threes to shoot threes. That's that's not at all um, the point of the offense. It, it should be a nice balance of getting into the paint, drive and kick, moving without the ball, cutting when they overplay us. Um, but uh, again, I think all that stuff requires us to be even more physical and a step quicker than we were tonight. Thank you, Coach. You can leave the room. Thanks. If I can get to your question, I'll try to get to you guys first. Please raise your hands if you have a question. Thanks. James Kreppy. Hey, Sav. Uh, congrats on 33 points. Uh, How do you feel you did in, in shooting a lot better? And also, in, uh, you get seven assists. There were also some finishes that weren't quite there. Uh, even Coach Graves and a lot of your former teammates who were watching live were commenting that in college you would uh, be getting after your teammates when they were fa failing to finish like that. Were you doing that at all here? And just how important is that if you were? Because obviously that you know the team is re relying on you to be in that role and be that vocal leader going forward, and you know for the months and years to come. Yeah, definitely felt a little bit more like myself, more comfortable, more confident in the game. Obviously not happy because we didn't win. So that part um, still isn't, um, you know, up to my standard, our standard as a team and an organization. And I mean, along with the passes, we're still getting used to each other. We're still a new team, a brand new team with a lot of new faces. So it's just going to take some growing pains. My teammates know it took us some growing pains at Oregon as well. And had to hit them in the head a couple of times to, to know that my passes were coming, but it's going to take time and hopefully we can just keep building and getting to know each other. Hey Sabrina, so obviously a huge jump in scoring tonight. Um, having a lead early in the game, how impactful was that for you to settle in and get comfortable shooting? Uh, lead or no, no lead, I was going to be, you know, playing the same way and have the same mentality coming into the game. I just needed a feel for the game a little bit in that first game and kind of get my feet under me and 
now I'm feeling a lot more confident getting used to a lot of the defenses that I'm, you know, having to face and a lot of the teams that, you know, what, what they're throwing at me. So just going to continue to learn. There's going to be ups and downs. It's going to be a roller coaster. I'm not going to have 33 every single night. So just excited to learn from this game and keep moving forward. Joe Vopel. Yeah, Sabrina, can you, I guess, talk a little bit about just your mentality after that first game? I mean, you're known as such a fierce competitor. It just seemed like you came out tonight with kind of this mentality of, you know, you're just going to go for it. I mean, were you just sort of feeling like, hey, you had, you know, wanted to bounce back from that, not that that first game was bad, but sort of bounce back, especially from the three-point line from that game? Yeah, I mean, really just realizing what um, – the reasons why I was missing. And I think my shot was a little bit rushed. I didn't have that much confidence. And honestly, I don't think I thought I'd get those shots in the, in the WNBA and I did. So, you know, went back, practiced for two days on, you know, speeding up my shot and getting it to where I want watching film. And I think that definitely helped a lot and really gave me um, some comfort and some confidence going into this game. So I just have to keep that moving forward and uh, my teammates will follow with me as well. And they've helped me just as much getting me the ball, um, giving me confidence even after that first game to keep shooting and, and keep at it. So I'm really appreciative of, of them for that. Jackie Powell. Hey, Sabrina. I'm curious, uh, with some frustration left on the floor, how do you all move forward and pick each other up? We knew coming in, it's going to be a process, you know, piece by piece. We just have to keep building every single game, every single day in practice. And so we have to learn from tonight the positive and the negatives that were out there on the floor from the game um, against Seattle, from the game against Dallas, and, and try not to do that um, into our next game. So we know it's going to be um, – a learning curve. There's going to be highs and lows, but we just have to stay the course, keep believing in each other, keep working hard, and everything will take care of itself. Jeff Magliocchetti. Hi, Sabrina. Congratulations on 33 points tonight. There were 10 rookies that partook in this game tonight, and you are obviously one of them. So how excited are you to, you know, go through this process, go through such a turning point in WNBA history and lead this charge? And how excited are you to go up against Dallas for the next few years, especially with your Oregon teammate Sato on the team? And what was it like playing against her? I mean, it's awesome to be able to see all the rookies in this league, you know, especially playing against them in college and now being able to see them at the next level. Hopefully we can continue to um, grow this league and keep having more and more viewership through the way that we play and obviously learning from the veterans that have been here before us. And so I think it was awesome to see all the young faces out on the floor, especially familiar with a lot of them from college. And it was awesome to see Satsu on the floor. Definitely really weird not having her on my team and uh, miss playing with her. I mean, she did great, I think. She stayed composed. She made the right plays. And, She's going to fit into that team really well. So it was really excited to be able to play against her and see her and kind of talk some smack to her at the free throw line. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you, Sabrina. You can leave the room. Next up, we'll have Amanda Zowie B. Mike Patton. Can you hear me now? Yes, there you go. Okay, cool. All right, uh, you all uh, gave up nearly 100 points tonight. Uh, what can you say was going on defensively? Was it just miscommunications, not in the right spots? Just what exactly was going on there on that end of the floor? Uh, we didn't execute. We didn't execute, and we know they're a running team. And uh, they ran on us, and we just went away from the game plan. Uh, we let them get open threes and get into the paint. We wanted them to take mid-range shots. Uh, I think we did a great job in the first quarter, and then we just went away from it. They became more aggressive, and we became passive. Becky, Powell. Hey, Zowie, I just want to know what you made of uh, Jasmine Jones and Joyner Holmes' performances tonight. Yeah, I think they did great coming off the bench with energy. Uh, even Nay Odom came off the bench with great energy. Um, you know, Jocelyn as well. Uh, so we got to take that, right? This is a growing process, and, and it sucks to lose. And especially when you, you could have won that, we gave this one away. Uh, but we got to build on the positivity. 
Um, and that's one big takeaway that we talked about in the locker room, that people coming off the bench brought extremely great energy. And we need that at all times. Thanks so much, Zowie. I love your shirt as well. Thank you. If that's all the questions that we have for Zowie, um, we're going to go ahead and end it now. Thanks, Zowie. You can leave the room. And thank you all. We will be sending a recording shortly. Um